bringing you the latest information on medicine, psychology, diagnosis, treatment, and prevention. Major medical advances are made each week, and each week the American Health Journal keeps you up to date. Hello and welcome to this edition of the American Health Journal. I'm your host, Roger Cooper. Today we focus on an exciting new approach to dentistry called natural dentistry. We took our cameras to Natural Dental Health Associates in Issaquah, Washington to talk with Dr. Jessica Sapoff. We'll ask her what natural dentistry means. We'll find out what she means by full disclosure dentistry. We'll look into the different equipment used to protect patients and the environment. And we'll talk about the health concerns some may have with today's dental materials. Plus, we'll explore the natural dentist views on helping to alleviate the anxiety associated with going to the dentist. We began by asking Dr. Sapoff what is meant by natural dentistry. Natural in my office means that we want the teeth and the health of the mouth to be what nature intended. So we want to have you know, restorations that look natural and not necessarily uh, like they're made in a lab or you know created on, on a lab bench. We want it to really look like it grew there. We want it to match the rest of the face and the rest of the structure of the head and look like it fits in and look like it grew there. And um, we want it to match the, the personality of the patient and what they want and how they want their smile to be or you know how they want their mouth to feel and how they want it to feel when they talk. And um, we also want to use materials that are compatible with the biological body. So we want, don't want to use materials that conflict or may have properties that, are, that detract from overall health, which some dental materials do contain ingredients that um, are questionable. Why are there so few natural dentists? Well, when you go to a physician, you actually have a choice of physicians. You have a choice between um, an MD that went to a conventional allopathic school or a naturopath that goes to a natural school for, and they are a physician. It's a four-year medical degree, and there are uh, chiropractors and osteopaths. There are all kinds of choices of physicians besides MD. However, in the dental world, there's only conventional allopathic dental schools. There are no alternative dental schools. And so all the dentists that come out all get the same curriculum designed by the American Dental Association. And so they all know the same things and practice in very similar ways. And it isn't until um, dentists start looking kind of outside the box, uh, maybe listening to p odd questions their patients might ask, and, and then say, you know, let me find out about that. You know, and then they start going outside the box and learning about um, other concepts that they just maybe haven't heard about or incorporated into their practice. And um, so that's why there are so few, because really not very many dentists go there and, and learn that. We asked Dr. Sapoff how she came to be a natural dentist. Originally, I went to art school and I got a degree in fine arts. And then I went to graduate school in fine arts. And after one year of that, I realized you know, that my, my childhood dream of becoming a dentist was, was what I was really going to do. And so I left that and I went to dental school. And the thing is, after being in art school where I learned to look at things from other points of view as part of my creative process, just that's how I learn. That's how, as a human being, that's how I try on new ideas and, you know, learn about new ways of being that help enrich my life and make me a more, you know, uh, well-rounded person. And so then when I went to dental school, um, I went in with that, already having that ability and that interest. Uh, while I was in dental school, of course, you know, you learn what they tell you to learn and you do what they tell you to do and you graduate. And it was very conventional. I went to Georgetown University in D.C. And um, it was just like every other dental school. And I learned all of the conventional, normal allopathic stuff, including, you know, all the basic sciences, everything. Um, and it wasn't until I got out that, you know, patients began asking me questions. And I said, I didn't just dismiss the question and say, no, 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 that's, you know, nonsense or that's not um, how we know it to be. I said, 
where did you get that question? Why do you have that question? What is it that you read or learned about? Let me, let me read that too, and then we can have a conversation about it, and I'll be able to maybe explain it or, you know, um, you know, help you understand that better. And that started a long, you know, and very interesting odyssey where I began to look at all of the controversies that are going on within dentistry and see both sides of all of these issues so that I can really serve my patients by finding out what they want and then, you know, helping them get the care that, um, that, that makes sense for them in their life.